Good morning, Barstow. Welcome to another episode of BTVN. I'm Teague Brown. And I'm Alexi Eisen. We hope you all enjoyed your weekend. We'll be right back after the intro. Welcome back. Let's start off with some announcements. The middle school track team traveled to Adrian on Thursday for one of the last meets of the season. The team competed in events such as shot put, relays, high jump, discus, and short and long distance runs. The weather was great and the team was extremely successful. Their next meet is tomorrow in Archie and their last meet is on May 4th at Barstow. So come out and support if you can. Looks like middle school sports are doing great. I will definitely have to stop by that home track meet. Switching over to high school sports, Gracie Coker made a piece about cheer. Let's check it out. During my first pep assembly, I was actually so nervous that I took out my contacts so that I couldn't see the crowd. <laughs> and it worked. I, I don't know. I was nervous because I didn't want those people staring at me. And now here I am and I love to perform. That's probably one of my favorite things about cheer. My favorite part about cheer is getting to come after school and just goofing around and having a good time with all the girls. So my favorite part about cheer is actually just getting to work with all the girls, like especially when we do stunts. Stunting is probably my favorite part of cheer just because it looks so cool when we actually do them. Like when we do them during pep assemblies, people are like, yay, let's go. It's so much fun to like hear that satisfaction because we work so hard. But also I really just, I love our dances. I love our jumps. I love, I love everything about cheer. Cheer is just awesome. You can try out for cheer even if you can't tumble or if you've never stunted before because there's always room for improvement. So if you're thinking about doing cheer, I think you should. It's something different. And people are like, oh, I'm not that kind of person, but like, what kind of person is it? Like, what kind of person do you have to be to play basketball or play baseball? I think you should try it for cheer because it's a fun experience. You get to learn something new and not just like stick with, I mean, other sports are cool, but I think we're the best. It's a really good way to bond with people. I encourage people to try it for cheer because it's a really fun experience. You get to meet new people. And for me, you get to try a new sport that you haven't tried before. Honestly, it's just so much fun and I'm so happy that I did it. Like the last four years have like, honestly, I've grown up so much with cheer and I've been so grateful ever since I started doing it. I have a feeling that we're going to be really strong next year. So if you want to try it for cheer and be a part of it, I would, I would be okay with that. I'd be okay <laughs> with, I just, it would be so much fun to have anybody who wants to do cheer apply because I'm going to be there. It's going to be great. Cheers gonna be great next year. Thanks, Gracie. You know, Teague, I hear they have a new coach. Yeah, I heard that too. She's a Chiefs cheerleader, isn't she? She is. There's a meeting directly after school for any girls interested in trying out. Tryouts are made third, fourth, and fifth. Now switching gears, tomorrow is tree day. It starts at two, and we will be on a regular B day schedule, but everyone will get out of class at two. So Teague, are you excited about it? I am, because I'm a lifer, I get to participate in Tree Day, and with my preschool buddy, I'm really excited. Well, speaking of Tree Day, let's head over to Connor Williams to see what the weather will be like tomorrow and the rest of the week. Welcome back Barso. hope you guys had a great weekend. We had some beautiful weather for the high school track meet on Friday and that weather continued through the uh, weekend. So let's go ahead and check out what we're going to have in store for this week and today. So today it's going to be a cloudy day. Uh, the sun will come out sometimes, we can see it coming out. And then we'll have a high of 76 degrees that we should hit around 3-ish. Um, and then let's check out the rest of the week's forecast. So on Tuesday for tree day, it's going to be a beautiful day, high of 80 degrees, a low of 63. 
There will be cloud cover through the day. And then starting Wednesday, it'll rain through just about the rest of the week. Uh, on Friday, we will probably see some thunderstorms coming through, and the temperatures will drop off. But then on Sunday, we, the rain will stop, and we'll have a high of 65. So it looks to be a beautiful week and a beautiful weekend. I hope you guys enjoy it. And now we'll send it back to the guys at the news desk. Awesome. Thanks, Connor. Mrs. Lapitza wants to remind everyone to not park in visitor parking, since there will be several music programs and other events coming up. We need to leave those spots open for guests. And like always, if you are not a senior, please do not park in senior parking. Well, Alexi, it's almost time to go, but one last announcement. Wednesday is the final senior seminar. Seniors, please check which seminar you will be attending beforehand. And for the rest of the grades, you will meet in the auditorium for student council and honor council speeches. Also, seniors, please pick up your cap and gowns from, uh, today from Mrs. Lapitza after class meetings. That's all we have for you today. Thanks for tuning in. And I'm Teague Brown. Have, have a what? good day. <laughs> have a good Monday, Marceau. <laughs>